The invasion of the zombies this list depicted are the best known parasitic creatures which impose their will on other animals and use them for their selfish ends. Many other parasites indeed perform the same function. Horror movies and nightmares are made by them, but their victims suffer even more. Hello and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is all about 7 animals that can turn into zombies. Zombie-like creatures are rarely seen in nature. Despite their appearance in science fiction films, it is common for living organisms to utilize other organisms for survival. Sometimes it is a little more complex, such as a lion eating a zebra or a bird eating insects. Parasites find host bodies and take over their minds to make their hosts seem like zombies. Here are 8 creatures that possess such zombifying abilities. Here is a list of 7 animals that can turn into zombies. Number 7. The Zombie Fish Has a Hot Flash the bird tapeworm Schistocephalus solidus lives on three hosts. In the digestive system of a bird, it lays its eggs. A copod is a crustacean that eats eggs that reach the water from bird droppings. Stickleback fish consume copods. The tapeworm wants to grow large here. Tapeworms alter the behavior of fish through chemical means, and the fish no longer stays with its school but swims to warmer water where the tapeworm is growing. By leaving the other fish behind, the stickleback is also more likely to be eaten by a seabird, which is where mature tapeworms lay their eggs. Once again, the cycle begins. Number 6. Wasps of Jewel The jewel wasp feeds on cockroaches. As a way of gaining compliance, the wasp injects a paralyzing toxin into the wasp. After receiving a second sting from the snake, the host's escape reflex is impaired. After chewing off the roach's antenna, the wasp draws its host back to its nest, where it lays its egg on the roach's stomach and departs. Wasp larvae hatch and feed on cockroaches, chewing their way into the abdomens and forming cocoons. Eventually, the larva reaches maturity inside its host. Number 5. Wasps of the genus Glintopantelis the Glinta Pantelis wasp lays its eggs in a caterpillar, just like the previously mentioned wasps. Wasps infect caterpillars with viruses to suppress their immune systems. Though they do not kill them, this allows the wasp to lay eggs, as well as providing larvae with food. Caterpillars serve as bodyguards. As a result, the caterpillar cannot grow further, and the host spins its cocoon around pupating wasps. Number 4. Fluke of the Liver in Lancets Lancet liver flukes, which are flatworms, have a strange life cycle that involves zombifying several hosts to achieve maturity. Grazing animals' livers are the ideal habitat for the adult fluke, which mates there. In the manure of animals, its eggs are consumed by snails. After the snail consumes and hatches the eggs inside its body, it will attempt to warn up its invaders by walling them into cysts and coughing them up in balls of mucus. Eventually, hatchling flukes will reach the brain of the ants by eating these mucus balls. Number 3. Parasites of the Metaparasite Although wasps feed on other insects, that does not mean that they do not have natural predators. They might end up becoming victims themselves. It's like Alien and Inception blended together, says Ed Young. This story revolves around caterpillar and two or more parasites as well as a cabbage that communicates between them. Caterpillars emit a chemical signal like an alarm where they begin eating cabbage. Number 2. Brainless zombie ants carry on and bury themselves. As soon as the egg hatches, the larva makes the way to an ant's brain and then eats it. Because the fly larva keeps the ants from even realizing that the ant has no brain, the rest of the colony does not notice that it has become infected. The larva will not become a pupa until it has matured. At the end of the story, it causes the ants to go off on its own and snuggle down in a bed of forest litter, which is far from ant-like. And at number 1, Zombie Drug Addict and Slave. A symbiotic relationship exists between a cashew tree and an ant. Pseudomyrmex ferruginus, an ant colony that protects the tree from weeds and animals thanks to the tree's sweet nectar. Now, we know that the relationship is one-sided as the tree does not only make the ants addicted to its nectar, but also prevents them from digesting any other food. Research conducted by Martin Hale of Sinvestavi Unidad, a study conducted by Mexican researcher Martin Hale, found that ants are naturally able to digest a variety of sugars but lose the enzyme that breaks down sugars. And that's all for our video. I hope you enjoyed watching it. What do you think about these seven animals that can turn into zombies? Let us know your views in the comments section below. And until the next video, stay tuned and subscribe to our channel for more uploads like this one. Also, if you're not a subscriber yet, then do it now. Otherwise, you'll be missing out. See you soon and goodbye.